Here you join me on the last week of the season at Lake Beauregard in what is known as one of the best big fish areas in France, the Champagne region. We've been invited down by lake owners Tom and his dad who gave us a quick tour of the lake and showed us the facilities that the place has to offer. The lake itself is about 10 acres in size, has around 180 to 200 carp up to the 60 pound mark. As it is the first time seeing the lake, I'm going to go for a couple of laps, see if I can see any carp and decide on where to set up for the week ahead. Well, we've come to the first swim on the lake as you drive in and as you can tell this one swim does command quite a lot of water but after speaking to the lads about the average depths of the lake they did say it's around five to six foot at this time of year however in this swim in this i'd say acre of water it is only about three foot so at this time of year with the temperatures dropping it's probably not going to be my top choice but if the fish do get down there there could be a little stalking opportunity so with that in mind, I'm going to have a little walk around the lake, see where the deeper areas are, where the fish might be holding up at this time of year, and see where the best opportunities will be. Well now moving up to the top end of the lake, as you can see behind me, there is many more features. You've got islands and where the water's currently down at the moment, you can see the bars that run through the middle. Me personally, I'd probably only fish a maximum of say two rods in this swim, which isn't really ideal, especially when we're here for a week. I feel like if I was to land a fish in this swim, it probably may only be that one or two opportunities that I get throughout the week, as they probably, as I'd imagine, patrol around the island. And if you do land one and causing that disturbance, it'll probably push them down to the open water. So I'm going to have a little look around, head over to the main open water swim and see what that has to offer. Then I'm going to make my mind up on where to set up for the week ahead. Well, after doing a few laps of the lake, I've finally decided on where I want to set up, at least for the beginning of the week. With the lake essentially being two halves, I'm going to set up in this swim which commands a lot of water and my mate James is going to go to the left where he can see that whole end of the lake. Therefore, if the fish do show elsewhere, we both have eyes on the water, we'll be able to pack up and move on to them quickly. So with that being said, I'm going to go get the gear out of the car, find some spots and get fishing. Well, that's the rods put out for tonight. After a long day of finding spots, I didn't want to rush too much as I have got six nights ahead of me, but I have found three different spots that I'm going to be fishing. The lake is a bait boat dominated water, so I did bring a boat with me. The left hand rod I have put out over a hard clay spot on a solid bag with a bit of bait. The middle rod slightly to the right over a soft silt spot. As I say again, it, over a bit of bait, see if that's going to make a difference. And thirdly, the right hand rods to the right on a small gravel hump, which is slightly shallower than the rest of the lake. As I say, it is bait boat dominated, so people will be putting out tight beds of bait. The right hand rod on the gravel, I have put the marker up and I've just scattered around 30 boilies around it, just to do something a little different to see what works. So hopefully one of them will go tonight and I can determine where the fish are feeding. But yeah, we'll see what the night brings. We'll go from there. Well, it's the first morning here at Lake Beauregard and about an hour before first light, my right hander that was on the small little gravel bar, just the, about three foot it was, with a handful of boilies scattered around it, absolutely tore off. Woke me up, I was in complete shock to be honest. This one going £29.4 ounces. Not a bad way to start the session, but we're going to get the rods redone this morning. I'm going to have a little rethink about the other two rods as they're over silt and if they're feeding on the gravel, then I'll probably redo another rod onto a small gravel bar or a small hump if I can find one. But yeah, for now I'm going to redo this rod, get it back out there, a few more boilies and see what the day brings. Well after having that fish this morning I wasted no time in getting the rod back out on that gravel spot with a handful of boilies over the top of it. I actually walked over to my mate James's swim who's just fishing on the left of me on the other half of the lake and had a little chat with him as he caught two last night. Uh, a new PB at £51 and a 37 had a little chat and uh, he also mentioned that he caught them over gravel so 
it made me have a little rethink in what to do. So I reeled in the middle rod, had a little change up. I've now put that on the small gravel bar to the right of me as well, uh, with a few more boilies. I maybe put around 30, 35 boilies around that. So they're all presented now. As for the left hand rod, I've actually reeled that in. I've taken that off of a solid bag as me and James both fought on a standard setup. So now that's on a heli set up with a slip D rig, a little tiger, a little bit of yellow corn. Even though the days have been a little bit quieter, the rods are all out there, positioned well. I'm feeling fairly confident. So I'm going to see what the afternoon brings and hopefully we'll catch one. Well, we're just going into the second night. It's only early evening. We're just getting ready to put the barbecue on with all the lads and the right hand rod absolutely tore off. This 32 and a half pound mirror graced my net. Gonna get the rod back out, gonna reel in the other one, get that on the same hook bait and see what the night has to offer. Well, we've just slipped that fish back. Second one of the session so far. Redone the rod, put a fresh hook bait on it, back out there, perfect. I've just reeled in the rod that I put on there earlier with the little tiger nut and the yellow corn. I'm just about to change over the hook bait now to match what I caught the previous two fish on. Just a little small manila dumbbell wafter topped with corn. We're going to put that on the spot, put a few more boilies over it and hopefully we'll pick up another bite throughout the night. But yeah, it seems to be night bites, so I'm going to really focus on fishing throughout the night as hard as I can to keep up the bites if the days are going to be quiet. So yeah, I'm going to put this new hook bait on, get this one back on the spot, put some bait out and yeah, hopefully we'll catch a few more. Well, after having that fish last night, I really thought that another one was going to be on the cards. I was watching all night and I didn't see anything or hear anything all throughout the night. I was sitting down this morning having a nice hot chocolate and just as I was thinking about walking around the lake to have a little look, one boshed right in the middle out in open water. So I've got a rig tied up ready, about to go change that, put that on. I'm going to chuck the single to the show and fish and see if that will work. If not, I probably will go for a little walk around the lake and see what's going on. Oh, that was literally on its head. Didn't really get a drop, so that probably is quite thick silk with the helicopter bead quite far up. That will still be presented, so we'll leave that there, see if anything happens, keep our eyes on the water, and if not, we'll have a little thing. Well, the rod that I redone this afternoon onto that showing fish, the single has absolutely tore off. It's pitch black. Foggy as anything, but not quite sure what time it is. But we've got one. Finally, we're about just over 48 hours into the session, playing a third carp. James obviously had the two, so that's five now between us. Just hoping that we can get this one in the net. It's trying to go towards that island. If I can keep it away, I'm sure we'll get it in the net, but I'm just going to concentrate on playing this. Hopefully, get it in the net. We'll show you what we've got on. Well, the single that I cast for showing fish earlier in the day has clearly worked. This one has fallen to a yellow single pop up out there. Literally couldn't get it any closer to where it showed. It's around midnight now. This one's gone just over 33 pounds. The biggest of the session so far. I feel like we've still got a bigger one in the cards. Still got a few more nights ahead of us. The fish are still out there. Let's see what the night brings. Well, it's been a really quiet day on the fish front, as it has been in the daytime since we've been here. It has been mainly night bites. Haven't seen or heard anything today, but got the rods redone just before dark, made sure they were presented right, and the middle rod. Just as I was getting ready to watch the England game, absolutely tore off. As soon as I hooked into it, I could feel it slightly grating, which I think it just went behind the gravel bar a little bit. But obviously I've managed to get it up and over managed to kite very, very much to the left, heading towards the island. I know there's two air races over there, so I don't want to let it get too close to that. 
I'm just going to focus on getting this one in and hopefully land the fourth fish of the session. Temperatures dropped <laughs> a lot colder tonight, really misty. So yeah, I'm just going to focus on getting them in, hopefully get in the net and show you what we have on the end. Small common. And we have the fourth one in the bag. Can I just get, get the rod straight back out there? I'll show you what we've got. Whilst the fish is currently resting in the net, just want to maximise my chances, get the rod out as quick as possible. So if the fish are there, I did put in a little bit more bait earlier. Uh, if the fish are there, obviously I want to get the rod straight back out there. Fresh hook bait, rod's already wrapped up. As soon as this is on, get it straight back out. Hopefully we'll have another chance tonight. Obviously when fishing, you want to always see where you're aiming to by a tree line marker. So in the dark, you've always got somewhere to aim to. I've got a pylon just out in front of me. Doesn't matter too much if this goes a little bit to the left because I'm fishing on a big spread of bait. So I'm going to get this out there. Hopefully it'll go in line with where I need it. Have it little cast. That's better. Perfect. Get this sunk, put on the rest, and get the fish out. So we're three nights into the session. This is a fourth fish, the smallest one of the session so far, going £27. But I tell you what, I'll take a bite at this time of the year. End of November, it's about three degrees, dropping down into the minuses in a few days. For me, a bite's a bite. If the fish are out there, I'm sure I'll have another one. Mega happy with this common. It's freezing cold. I've got the bait back out there, the rod's back out. Hopefully another one slips up. Hopefully a little bit bigger. Well, as expected, that did not take long at all. Got that fish back literally minutes after. I went to the bivvy, changed my hoodie as I got a bit wet, and the middle rod went into absolute meltdown once again. As soon as I hooked into it, I knew it was a better fish. Playing it, it was just slow and plodding along. Whilst I was playing that, James, who was fishing just to my left, he's also had one as well. So I'm going to get this one out, going to weigh it. It does look a bit bigger than the ones we've had. See what it's like, and yeah take a look at James's as well. Well it was only a matter of time before we got into a slightly bigger one. This one going £44.10 10 ounces, proper pretty mirror, the scales going down its towel are absolutely stunning. Really really chuffed with this one. Rods are back out, there could be chance of another one tonight but the temperature's really dropped, absolutely freezing. Gonna slip this one back and we'll take a look at James's one. Well look at that, for £40.4 4 ounces of Lake Beauregard Mirror. Taken on a single pop-up, chucked it to show him fish, had, as Lauren mentioned, literally at the same time as her second fish of the evening. So I'm gonna get this one back, get the rod back out, celebrate England winning, and then we'll get in bed. And hopefully we'll have a few more during the night. Well, it's come to the end of the session Unfortunately, slightly earlier than expected, we've done five nights due to my pal James falling unwell. But we've had a mega time, we've caught plenty of fish, I think we've had 13 now between us. I managed one midday yesterday, around the £20 mark, but from then it went a little bit quiet for me, the temperatures dropped, it did really get cold. Last night James also managed a mid-30 mirror, which was mint, and then this morning he also had an upper 20 common, which was great just before we packed up. We've had a mega time here, the facilities have been great, the lake owners have really looked after us but unfortunately, as I said, we do have to leave early so I've packed my car, I'm heading off to Gigantica and James is heading back to the tunnel but I'm sure we'll be back here soon. <laughs>